So I'll be going through how to make a lino print from start to finish. First, you might want to print out your design and trace on the back of it. This is so it can transfer onto the lino and be the right way round. If you don't do it on the reverse side, then your print and all the letters will be the wrong way round. I didn't have a light box, so I just did this on the window. I would then went over this just to make the pencil lines thicker so it would be easier to transfer. You're then going to want to secure the paper onto the lino block with some tape so it doesn't move around when you're trying to trace over it. And then you're going to want to go over each part of your print, pressing down quite hard. I'm just checking here that it is actually transferring and you can just see a little out, a little uh, outline of it. Here I'm just going over it with Sharpie to make sure that I could see the, the design when I wanted to cut it out. These are the different kinds of blades you can use. Um, the thinner ones create a thinner line and the fatter ones create thicker and deeper lines. You can choose which blade you want to use for what you want to do. If you want to do something a bit more detailed then choose a um, thinner one. I chose a, like a medium sized kind of one for this. I then just began cutting away at all of the parts of the print that I didn't want there, outlining everything. Try and do it away from yourself because you might cut yourself. Then I'm just picking away the bits that I couldn't quite get with the blade. Once the print was complete, I lay out my ink and rolled it out. We chose yellow ink for this print because it gave we chose to stick to a primary colour palette to make it a bit more interesting. You then are going to want to roll on the ink quite thin a couple of times. Get it all coated. I masked off the areas on the print that I didn't want to get my ink on and then placed it down carefully. You're going to want to press the print down. Um, you can go over it with a roller or you can turn it over and like rub it. Um, rub it with a piece of paper or the back of a spoon. Then you just carefully peel it away to reveal the design.